Imagine the excitement of heading off to college. You're about to board your plane to Chicago and ding, it's an email from Loyola University. The dorms are closed indefinitely. Tonight, that Utah woman tells our Charlie DeMar what she plans to do next. Move-ins were supposed to begin at Loyola University. I was supposed to go to Loyola, Chicago from Salt Lake City, Utah. Sophia Bartlett was ready for her freshman year and was planning on living on campus in the Marquette South Hall. My brother dropped us off at the airport and we said our goodbyes and we got through security, checked all six of our huge bags. As Sophia walked through the airport in Salt Lake City, minutes before her flight to Chicago, she got an email. When we were walking to the gate, I got an email saying that Loyola closed the dorms for the fall. It was not an easy decision and is made with great disappointment and sadness. I think it's just something I've gotten used to with my senior year being impacted by the virus and I've kind of just expected uncertain times. Students who planned on living on campus need to make new arrangements. COVID-19 once again complicating campus life. Well, we weren't completely surprised. I mean, these days you have to be ready for change. Dad Fred Bartlett also made the trip with the intention of moving Sophia into the dorms. She'd love to spend time in Chicago. She'd love to live on the campus, but certainly the dorm living is a big piece of it. Online classes and no campus living. Sophia's time as a rambler may have been short-lived. I think I'm going to defer for a year and kind of feel it out from there. A lot of times life isn't what happens, it's what you do with it, and she's handling it extremely well. The university is saying that about 700 students who planned on living on campus this semester are coming from hotspot areas and we're going to have to quarantine at the start of the year. So the logistics and the risk just wasn't safe in the eyes of the administration. Reporting from Loyola University, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.